Thermal electrics is a conversion between heat and electricity. And in fact, uh, uh, the phenomena was uh, discovered uh, in 1821. Uh, the first uh, phenomenon, phenomena that's, that was discovered was the so-called Seebeck coefficient. So basically, when you have a temperature difference across uh, a semiconductor or metal, uh, and there is a voltage that's developed between the two points, and people using that phenomenon to measure temperature using thermocouples. And so that's a way of essentially converting heat into electricity. And uh, uh, there was another effect that's called the Peltier effect. That is uh, when you pass a current flow through the junction of two materials. And Peltier discovered that uh, one junction cools down, the other junction heats up. And uh, you can use that effect uh, to do refrigeration or to do air conditioning. So those are the basic thermoelectric effects. And uh, uh, the phenomena was discovered in 1980, uh, no, I'm sorry, the phenomena was discovered in 1800. And, uh, but in terms of the application, it was um, around the 1950s. And in fact, uh, probably first started in Russia. And uh, the dream at the time was uh, doing electronic refrigeration. And uh, so you do not need uh, uh, compressors to make a refrigerator, just a plug in electricity, solid state. And uh, uh, it turns out uh, to make a, uh, if, uh, efficient refrigerators, uh, you need the uh, materials that have these uh, very contradictory properties. You need a material that conducts uh, electricity well. And also, you, because this is a really like a shuffling electrons from one place to the other, so electron carries a heat. So you want each electron carry a lot of heat. Uh, at the same time, if you think your household refrigerator, uh, inside is cold, outside your room temperature, you need, uh, uh, normally in the refrigerator, we put a thick thermal insulation. And uh, we need this material to be that thermal insulator. So we need basically contradictory property, a good electric conductor, but uh, a good thermal insulator at the same time, and also each child carry a lot of heat. So that makes the uh, finding the good material is a very difficult task. And there were not much progress uh, since the 1950s in material side, until around the 1990, when this uh, uh, idea, in fact, uh, pioneered by Mini Dresser House at MIT, and she proposed that you can use quantum effects on electrons, and that got people to start thinking. And at the time, I just graduated, and I didn't know anything about thermoelectrics. But see, I learned the work, and it uh, happens I was working on how to use the nanostructure to reduce thermal conductivity. And I was worried that the nanostructure has no thermal conductivity. That was, my worry was because of the application laser, laser gets too hot. And, but it turns out that this actually works really what is what we want in thermoelectrics. So I start collaborating uh, with the Mini Dress House and we've been, we went from uh, thin films, nanowires, and uh, after we understood the physics, we moved to make large scale bulk materials so that we can actually make really refrigerators and power generators. And the currently we're looking into application of recovering waste heat uh, from automobiles, also use the solar energy as the heat source to generate the electricity, but uh, through this thermoelectric way rather than through the photovoltaic or the thermomechanical way.